And we back. Can a one man offensive show win a championship? And I don't mean like James Harden or Luka Doncic where they have the ball all the time, but I mean like, can we put all of our shots on one player's back? I don't know, we are gonna find out. I'm gonna try to rebuild a team to make this a reality and see if it's even possible. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. First we gotta do is randomly select our team. So we're gonna stop in three and two and one. We're running with the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Cavs are gonna have pick number 17. That's not great, but that's not awful either. The first thing we got to do is figure out who's our player that's going to be taking all of our shots. And I feel like you have to have one of the top five players of basketball to even think that this, this, this fictional thing can become a reality. Let's see what our team looks like. We're going to have Kawhi Leonard, Mitchell Robinson, Terry Rozier. Ah, uh, not amazing. Chris Paul. On my bench in the reserves. All right. Uh, all because he's injured in real life and 2K is not. I took no. I took injuries off. So this is what the team really looks like. It's still not very good for the thing we got to do. So we're gonna use Kawhi Leonard. We don't have any young players that are super valuable other than Christian Brown. Is he's not gonna be super valuable. He might be two star value or something. But uh, we don't have a ton. But that's okay. Two and a half star. Our first round pick is only one star by itself so this is going to be kind of rough but we need to end up with one of the top offensive minded players in basketball my mind for a challenge like this immediately goes to Luka Doncic um and after Luka I go to Embiid and then after Embiid I go to Shea that's where my mind is at let's try to go get Luka from the Pacers now I'm, I'm gonna have to be willing to pay everything and I mean everything to make that that man end up here in Cleveland but we're gonna try so we give them Kawhi Leonard that's already a good start it's, they think they're a championship team oh man y'all know that's that's basically a death sentence if a team say they're a championship team don't even think about trying to trade for them because they it's just not gonna happen I'm gonna try, I'm, I mean I guess I don't have anything to lose by offering all I got but yeah even look at this I mean we'll, we'll take back Aiden's big old contract but Aiden is valuable we give you two first round picks Luka Doncic is probably not happening no it's not okay Let's go do reverse straight find to see if that helps. And if not, dang, they think they're you think you're a championship team with this one? The Luca does that type of stuff, I guess. So the Luca one is done. Um, that's unfortunate. Look at all these teams buying or rebuilding. And it's only a few of them that think they're a contender. This team with De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis think they're a contender. This team with Luca think they're a contender, but everybody else is not. So that's okay. So we can't get Luca, but maybe we could go get JoJo, or maybe we could go get Shea Gilch Alexander. It's like th those guys are still on the table. Full five star value. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> full five star value. Y'all got bad contracts? Not really. Um, yeah, y'all don't really have bad contracts at all. Uh, we'll take Terrence Davis. No, oh, you need a bigger contract. You need a twenty million dollar contract going out. All right. So we'll take Dylan Brooks. And then we'll give you, see, yeah, all of our, we're going to have to do, okay, okay, re reset, reset, reset. Let's go get the assets that we want for this trade. Like this trade may not make sense, but for the assets, it makes sense to me. So I'm doing it. I need a, a couple really good first round picks too. Or I'll take Nicholas Claxton um, and then flip Nicholas Claxton for that pick. He's only $9 million. Y'all know I, I didn't, I didn't vow never to trade for Nicholas Claxton again because he don't do nothing but change the team around. So no, um, I see Larry Market in there. I see some first round picks that might, oh, that's not a valuable first round pick. Okay. Man, the market is not great. There's a top 10 protected. I'm not, oh, completely unprotected. Three star value. Who's on your team? Zion, Brandon Ingram, and then Claxton. I'm not making that trade. That team's a playoff team. That team's a playoff team. That team's a playoff team. No way. So I'm going to trade for Larry Marketing. Um, so right now we could potentially have Larry Marketing, Tyrese Maxey, and Mitchell Robinson in a trade right a a in this exact moment. Um, we still didn't get an extra first round pick, which is what we need to do. Christian Brown doesn't have a, le a, a lot of value, but we should be able to ex extract a first round pick from somebody for him. First round pick for Vince Williams Jr. Boom. Uh, so that's, that's potentially done there. Do we have enough stuff to go get, again, we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to get Shea Gibbs Alexander. Uh, uh, probably not, but we go try. Him only making 33 million changes things though. Tyrese Maxey, Larry Marketing. They need to give us 15. That's you give us. Uh, that's you give us Dylan Brooks. Offer it. They say no. And but we also got the pick from the Rockets, which is two star. And then we got a couple of our picks. This is done. It's a lot. That was everything. That was everything. But we have our engine. Now the way this is gonna work for y'all that was asking, 
there's the thing called tendencies. We're going to raise Shay's touch of tendency to 100. I mean, we can do that right now. It's already there. And then everybody else on our team is going to have zero. So, yeah, they will still score, but their mindset is going to be give Shay the ball and get the heck out of the way. So now that we've done that, we need to build the most ridiculously defensive team that we could potentially have, okay? That's what my mindset is at. The most ridiculous defensive team around Shea Gears Alexander. Don't think about spacing. Don't think about shooting. None of that matters anymore. It's really make people, get people that make Shea better. I'm going to trade for Mikael Bridges, a wing player. He's got one of the highest defensive uh, ratings in all the basketball right now. So we'll take that. Um, we even got our own first round pick that we could throw with Chris Paul. That should be that should get us. I don't know. There's Clax and Clax gonna keep popping up, and I might accept it just to flip them again. OG Ananobi and Bruce Brown. That makes sense to me. I really I'm gonna try to go get him right now. This is a challenge for Lonzo Ball. This is a challenge for Lonzo Ball. Lonzo makes all defensive teams every single year in this game. This is a Lonzo Ball challenge. Uh, 81 overall. They want Bruce Brown, Mitchell Robinson, Ayo DeSumo and Bruce Brown. Okay, which one? Which one? This one. All right. Bruce, Brucey Brown, you got to go. That's a good trade. So right now, we got Dylan Brooks, OG Ananobi, Lonzo Ball as far as like wing slash guards that defend. Right And we got Mitchell Robinson, who's not safe at the moment. I feel like we could do better. He's a really good defensive player, obviously. But I think that with his money and Kayla, uh, Cody Martin's money, we might be able to get something better there. It's not a defensive-minded player. It's Demontis Sabonis. He's not safe. We're actually going to flip him immediately. But Sabonis at 88, I, I want Bam. Honestly, Bam is the center that I want. I want Bam out of my... Oh, whoa, wow. All right. Uh, well, obviously, we can't do this because we don't need Jalen Brunson's offense. But, man, here's the Bam deal. They want Dylan Brooks. I can't give you Dylan Brooks. He's too integral to this, this uh, team right now. I give, you, uh, I give you Dennis Smith Jr. in a first. Sure, give us Sadiq Bay back. Right now, the starting lineup is like this. Mikel Bridges, OG, Sadiq Bey. Uh, we're going to get a new four in there. We got to get a new four in there. But right, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what we're doing. If we talking defense, we got the defensive-oriented team. We just need a four-man, a, a high-level defensive four-man. Part of my thinking is getting Rob Williams and running him at the four. Because you think about space, and that doesn't matter to us. That doesn't matter to us. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it right now. And then if it don't work, it don't work. Dude, Claxton is just sitting there again. He's just sitting there again. And he's so, he's such a good player, bro. He's such a good... He fits this challenge perfectly, but the man is always upset with his touches. And now he's definitely going to be upset because I'm taking away every... Wow. I'm taking away all of his... um. I mean, all of his touches. So I'm keeping who Walker Kessler is pretty solid. And Wendell Carter. Ah, uh, never mind. Wendell, Wendell didn't have a big drop off this year. I'm trading for LaMelo and a pick. I got the Ball Brothers together. Not for long, but I got the Ball Brothers together for a little, a little time in a locker room together. I needed a defensive orient, oriented four man. What about a guy that was just top three in DPOY last year? Whoa. Okay. Sadiq Bey is probably getting off the team. Even though he's he's uh, graded as a decent defender, he's not good enough off our bench. So we trading him for somebody that we know is going to defend. I don't know who that player is right now, but we're going to find him. Dante Exum for now. Ugh, I don't know. It went a lot of people on the mark. I'll just say that. So right now, it's Shea Bridges, oh, Ananobi, Mobley, Bam. Whew. Then we got Lonzo, Dylan Brooks, Dante Exum. That's okay. We need to go get more. <laughs> what is that? A backup shooting guard and a backup power forward. Backup shooting guard, backup power forward. And then when we're ready. Backup shooting guard, backup power forward. I feel good about the team. Uh, again, I don't know if it's going to work to have it that one person's taking all of the shots, but, I mean, it's worth a try. Drummond is our backup power forward because, again, we don't have to worry about spacing. Now, the problem is Shea is going to have to play every single minute of every single game because, like, if he's taking all of the shots any minute that he's not on the court, nobody's shooting anything. And backup shooting guard, I mean, I could go get a PY. Actually, his defense is not as good in game as I thought. I'm traded for Javante Green, and he's listed as a power forward. He's running shooting guard for us. <laughs> he's listed as a power forward. You're running shooting guard. Oh, small forward, he's a 77. But you're running shooting guard, Vante. Okay, so now, nine-man rotation, it looks like this. Uh, they gave the minutes to Cornette. No, it's going to go to Vante. And then Drummond has to go to a four-man. And then we mess with the tendencies. And then we mess with the tendencies, y'all. This is where things get real interesting. Is this team good enough to do what we want to do? I have no idea, okay? I have no idea whatsoever. 
if this team is going to be good enough. But we got the defensive pieces. We got a lot of people that be competing for all defensive teams. I mean, we can count them out if you want. It's a lot of them. So now we got everything down to zero. We go back to Shea and we put it up to 100. Shea, you got to carry us to the promised land. And I'm going to change it so that Shea's passing tendency are, is, is low. Um, you got to score 100 points tonight for us. <laughs> Which is another challenge. Like, can we get him to drop 100 in the game? If it's just him. Dish to the open man. Why would you do such a thing? Zero. Flashy pass. Why would you do such a thing, too? Zero. Alley oop pass. Why would you do such a thing, too? So it's uh, going over here now. And I'm going to say our system is play through star. Because it has to be him. It has to be him. So let's get some minutes down so we can give them all to our guy. Lonzo, Lonzo doesn't have a secondary position. I'm going to change Lonzo's secondary position to shooting guard so he can play some backup. So it don't have to always be um, Vontae Green. So Drummond backup position is done. Uh, Bam backup position, Lonzo. Okay, first game of the season. Let's see. We win it. Now, I know the brother didn't score 125 points. I know he didn't, but he did score 84 of them days. All right. All right. So, of course, you not, I, there's nothing I can really do to get it down to zeros, right? For everybody to have zero. The one thing, I mean, the one thing I can do, you know what, though? No, there's no practical way to do this. There's no practical way to do this. I was going to say I change everybody's actual uh, uh, attributes, but there's no practical way to doing that, so we won't. Next game is a win. Shea only had 46. We get in, okay, so they're drawing fouls. A lot of free throws for Evan Mobley this game. So I can actually change the tendency to draw free throws. All right, so I went back. And I got rid of everything for everybody, okay? Um, so now the team looks... Uh, <laughs> um, but 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 Shea's offense is still the same. Everybody else, I got rid of their, their shooting, their finishing, their three... Like, all of it's gone. The post fade, all 25s. So now, even if they do get shots up, <laughs> now we got the games we expect. Now, if they do get shots up, they're going to miss. Okay, okay. Okay, he only plays uh, 37 minutes, though. W w I told him to play all of them. All right, that's fine. We won. It don't matter. Next game, I just want to go game. He's got to have a 100 ball in here somewhere. See, th see, this is something I can't get rid of. They, they're, they're not supposed to make shots. Like, how did Lonzo hit three threes with a 25 three-point rating and a zero shot tendency? I got to go change his three-point tendency and everything, huh? I guess I do. I thought that just turning down shot tendency was going to be enough. No, Bam's close tendency. All of this got to go. Now all the tendencies are done. So there's no excuses no more. Let's go. We are undefeated on the season so far. There's another win. And then, I mean, I just can't control this. I, I've done everything. Draw foul is now zero. We still get a six free throws. We sit, uh, Okay, whatever, whatever. We keep it moving. We are winning games. And I'm waiting for the big 80, 90, 90 point Shea Gibbs Alexander game. Oh, there's a first loss of the season. The 90 point Shea Gibbs Alexander game, the 100 point Shea Gibbs Alexander game, because some some gotta give. He's doing great stuff though. There's another loss again. We we don't expect to go 82 and 0 with a challenge like this. I'm actually surprised that we're winning as many games as we are, considering what the team looks like. We put up 130 here. Shea with 93, 30 free throws from Shea, man. Now imagine if his his three point rating, because I've been writing it down, is a 79. If his three point rating was higher than a 79, bro. It will be GG's to everybody. He would have had his 100-point game. And I'm going to assume that 93 is the season high. It is. Okay. So, I'm going to keep my eye out. Anytime I see a crazy high-scoring game like that, I'm assuming that he went nuts. But the fact that we are 15-4 and four or 15-5 and five through the first 20 is insanity. Shout out to Shea. Just hoop it. And then, you know what? Shout out to the other guys, too, because they got to be the ones playing all the defense and stuff. Who else could have won MVP in this video other than Shea Gilles Alexander? Too many assists, if you ask me, at 1.5. But he averaged 68.8 points per game. And the the season high was only 94. Only 94. So, he had a couple 90-point games this season, but 94 was the highest he got. Only six made threes. I feel like if we would have got Luka, he would have dropped the 100-piece because he's going to hit more threes. Nonetheless, he had a game where he shot 39 free throws. 39 free throws is as insane as it could possibly get for a single game. Like, who is watching that game to watch that man shoot that many free throws? I don't really know. He wins Clutch Player of the Year, um, and we get Executive of the Year. At, and we won 53 games. Considering where we are, it's kind of crazy. Our offense is at 86, and our defense is at 99, of course. Jay's All-NBA first team. Um, he's All-Defensive first team. And Evan Mobley is too. Nobody else. Nobody else. You know, we just held the number one defense in the league. 
and just nobody else. Just two players. That's fine. No OG, no Mikhail, no Lonzito. Just, just, just Shea. All right, we'll take it. We are the one seat, though, by one game. So the Celtics were on our butt all season long. We ended 7-3. I don't know what they ended, but we, we retained that one seat. First round, we're going against the Milwaukee Bucks. A little division rivalry. They got Kawhi. Oh, so is this the team that we... Yeah, this is the... No, wait. Didn't we have Kawhi? Did we have Kawhi? Or am I tripping? But nobody else in this team looks familiar. So maybe... I, I got to see. Oh, yeah. We gave them Kawhi for Tyrese Maxey and Porzingis. And then we traded Porzingis, Maxey, and... Um, uh, Mr. Marketing for Shea. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, let's see if we can get rid of them real early. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three, uh-huh. Let's get out of that first round with no no uh, games lost. We do. Now, this team went to a seven. No, we're going against Luka. Or did Luka team lose? I ain't even peep. It is Tyrese, Derek White. Okay. Mm. Top two, I'm, I'm okay with that. The rest, I got a lot of respect for Val. And Kelly Olenek can give you... A game, um, and Celtics fans know that in the playoffs. Um, I guess Washington Wizards fans do too. I'm sorry to bring up old times, but Justin Winslow starting. I think uh, Justin Winslow's in a G right now, so I'm not tripping about it too much. We have to re we have to really lock up Tyrese. Game one is a win. Oh, we haven't even been keeping track. What are you doing in the playoffs? Say my fault. We ain't even go through your stat lines for the first first round. Let's see. Uh, 69 points. Nice. Then we got 77 points. Then 64 points, and then 70. So he did great stuff. Game two, we lose. It's fine. You know what? Why would we do this? I know Shea made an all-defensive team, but going against the Raptors. Why not give uh, Tyrese Halliburton, like, I don't know. We got so many great defenders that we need to give him somebody. Shea is a 96 guard in him, though. Oh, Shea is the answer. Never mind. Never mind. Shea is the answer. So we'll keep it what it is. Game three, we win. And that is a 90-point game from Shea. All, all mid-range jumpers. And layups like like that's insane that's it's okay okay uh game four we lose that one it is a uh well-rounded game for them shea only had 65 that's a that's a bad game for him that's below his season average anytime he scored below his season average i'm, I'm assuming we're gonna lose we get out of there to get to the uh, conference finals to go against a playing team i like our odds now they did beat the two seed and the six seed but like we are the one seed it is Kyrie, Jamal Murray, Franz Wagner, Kuzman, Thomas Bryant kind of messes up that lineup. But that's four really good players up top. That's four really good players up top. Am I worried about them? Nah. Because because what is Jamal Murray going to do with Shea Gilles Alexander as his assignment? You know what I'm saying? 83 points. G game two. Oh, oh, yep. He scored less than a season average. I'm telling you. It's, oh, oh, way less than a season average. This is a bad game. It's a really bad game. Okay. All right. You know what that just made me think of? And this is about to be a little tangent because I'm a little bit afraid that we might lose. He's had a six block game. Has he had another game like that this season? It looks like no. Okay. I was going to say maybe he had a five by five. I don't know why in that game he has six blocks. Two, two series. We're not losing to no play in team. We're not losing to a play in team. We're not losing to a play in team, baby. 87 points there. And in game five, because I don't think we looked at game five. He had only 44, and we we won. The defense was on top of it. All right, we're going against Giannis. Pack the paint. Pack the paint. We're fine. It's Giannis. It's Cade. And K this is just Detroit Pistons adding Giannis. This is just the Detroit Pistons basically adding Giannis. <laughs> Pack the paint on them. They got no shooters. Pack the paint. Evan Mobley. Lock up Giannis. You were all defensive. Game one is a win. Shea scored well below his average, and we won because, again, packed the paint. They shot 6 of 20, 27 from three. Game two, we lose. All right, Shea only, Shea struggled. Real big struggle game. Game three, we didn't expect to, ooh. Shea it struggled again. Struggled again. All right, let's 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 get these minutes away from Javante Green. I know we only talk about five minutes, but I don't care. You you two. It's, it's just, it's just going to be Bam and Evan Mobley in our front court. Um... Dante Exum low-key getting too many minutes, too. He's a 71. Because <laughs> we got rid of all of his offense. He's just a 71. So, Bam getting all the minutes. Evan Mobley getting all the minutes. We need them to dominate the paint. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yes, Giannis and have a great game. Now, 18 boards is crazy. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Let them, let them dominate and make sure that Giannis don't have any more good games. Make sure Giannis don't have any more good games. Game 7. Woo! All right. All right, it's a game seven. Let's shorten this rotation even more. Dylan Brooks is ice cold. He shouldn't be taking shots anyway, but your minutes are gone. 
it's Lonzo, and that's it. All right, everybody else. It's a game seven, man. We're going to put our best foot forward. I didn't even think it was going to be possible for one player offensively to win a, a, an NBA Finals. It's looking um, decent. It's close, which we don't like. Content-wise, it's kind of cool to have a close game. Um, up by five. Up by eight. Yes, sir. There the boys go. 61 points per game for Shea in the Finals. The man real life just, when people say he had a backpack on, he carried, that's what they talking about. MVP, finals MVP, uh, all defensive first team, averaging 60 in the NBA finals. It don't get better than that. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.